And we are back with Timely Talk. This is Andrew Snorton. And Emma, folks, and thanks for being with us this afternoon. Uh, we're having a great time. Um, yeah. So, yeah, we had a great, uh, <laughs> we had a great first segment, and um, we talked about, you know, in the last segment, things that uh, people wish people would start doing to make the future better. And this segment, we're going to kick it off, and we're going to flip that coin, and we're going to talk about the things people... Uh, wish people would stop doing to make our future better. So yeah, you want to sure. kick it off? <laughs> I'll go ahead and start. One of the first things that people commented on was stop expecting others to do it for you. And that's huge because, don't get me wrong, There's yes, there's always going to be a time that you're going to need help on something, but you should try to cover as much ground as you can. I think it's a fine line between I need help and this is what I've done Versus, I need help and I haven't done anything. Yeah, when if, if you have something to do and you don't understand how to do it, look around. Try to figure out a way to get it done before you go asking for help. Um, you can't just wait for somebody to stand next to you and do it for you all the time. So, yeah, that's one of, the, that's one of my huge pet peeves, and especially with kids. You know, did you look first? <laughs> you know, did you look it up first? Yeah. Like, don't come and ask me. Don't come and ask me how to do something. You know, well, I looked here, but did you did you look anyplace else? Like, what's your did you use your deductive reasoning? You yeah, know? like how do you spell a word? What did you look in a dictionary? No. Oh my god. Then look in the dictionary, and then it's like you can say, "Hey, here's what I've done. Now I need your help." So, oh, see, I'm the mean parent because if if a kid tells me they don't know or they don't know how to do something, I'll take the phone away because. In today's world, we have this smartphone, and you can ask Siri or Google a question or even Alexa, and they tell you everything you need you to know. You can, but even still, some people just have challenges. I don't know. But still, make an effort. Bottom line, make an effort. Don't wait for something to drop out the sky. Make some type of effort. Uh, this second one kind of ties with one of the last points to start yeah. doing. Stop damaging the environment. I mean, we did talk about that, at, you know, we did talk about that yeah. in detail, but... Yeah, let's just stop abusing the resources that we have. Yeah. Worry, excuse me, worry less. Um, that's a huge one. You know, we all get to decide what we focus our thoughts on. And worrying does not, you know, you're usually not worrying about what's happening right now. You're either worried about something that happened in the past or you're worried about something that's going to happen in the future. And it's, you're not, nothing's happening. So, you know, I, you know, I'm no psychiatrist or psychologist or anything like that, um, but stop worrying about things and, you know, if, if, especially if it's stopping you from taking action on, on other stuff. I think what it is, you can be concerned. Hey, but, Centron. <laughs> you can be concerned, but when you worry, it kind of like stops you from doing yeah. anything. So nothing wrong with being concerned. But when you worry, you kind of get through the, it's the whole paralysis through analysis and you can't think and you're not able to problem solve. So just try to tone it down as try best as you can. Try to tone it down. You know? <laughs> All right. <laughs> now this is funny, this next one. Yeah. The, because Ruth it's called timely, it's like, it's funny because it's timely talk, but talking so much. I think the best advice is one of those, when I talk, you listen. When you talk, I listen. And just try as best as possible, whether it's call and response or what have you, like, let people say what they need to say and then be quiet. So yeah, it's some people that always have to have the last word, though. And that's a, one of my pet peeves. You know, I've got a lot. But that's a big one. <laughs> you is, have a lot? Yeah, I think you, I do. You should work less. I should work less. I have pet <laughs> like... Why? And, so, and I don't say stuff, but like when I watch conversations happen, like you just kind of know that person. Oh, you know they're going to, you know, you could be in a meeting. You know who's going to say something before the meeting's over. You know who's going to have something to say. You know who's going to ask that last question. Like stop talking, especially if you're doing it to try to make yourself seem intelligent. I would just say share the stage. Everyone's going to get a turn to speak. Just share the stage. Like, you know, when some people call and they talk for like 25 minutes. And then you say, like, three or four things, and then it's like, you don't listen to me. The Fulton County government is calling you. Oh, no, no. <laughs> she used to work for the Fulton County government. Thank God almighty. <laughs> what? I'm just saying it's honest. <laughs> no, but that ties, in, that ties in with 
that's kind of a bridge when she looked at me funny about Fulton County government. Stop complaining <laughs> all the time. Now, again, it's okay to complain and criticize to a point, but just like we said, like, in a few shows ago, you can complain to a point, but now provide options as to how you see you can solve something or do something better or do something more efficiently. Like, people, blah, 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 blah. It's like, all right, but what are you doing other than sucking up air right. and putting too much carbon dioxide in my face? Like, come on. Right. And right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just think, you know, the, the, the people that complain the most aren't really doing a whole lot with their lives um, because you're sitting there complaining. If you're about solutions and if you're about things changing or getting better, then instead of, you know, it's okay to complain. It's okay to give your opinion on what's happening. But what's the other side of that? How do we get through this or how do we change whatever the situation is? And if you don't have that solution, my opinion is you should just shut up. <laughs> stop talking. I mean, being blunt, like, yeah. stop complaining. Like, if you don't, if you come to me, it, you know, Bray will tell you, if you come to me with, a, with complaining about something, if you don't have a solution, I'll listen to you once, maybe twice, but after that third time, you're just going to get how I really feel about the situation, and it's usually going to be to In tell other you to words, shut up. it's okay to complain, but bring some possible solutions to the table. 